2004, I applied for the scholarship. I, uh, I received a scholarship and the scholarship opened up a great opportunity for me as an accountant student back then to be able to explore the career of accountant. I subsequently graduated from college and got hired with Deloitte. Uh, the CPA exam experience started. Um, I had a great plan. Uh, my plan was to uh, get my parts in before I started working and I, I kept that plan. It, it was a realization and uh, I started taking the whole CPA exam starting from uh, 2009. Um, I wasn't very serious with it. I was taking it part at a time. Uh, family, work, were all in the way. Typical stuff. But the exam required a different kind of concentration, a different kind of uh, uh, study method. Not the kind of study method that I was used to in college. Um, but I braced on. I continued because the the fact that being a CPA for me was one of the biggest achievements I wanted to achieve while working for Deloitte. I had to grow perseverance. That I didn't have. I thought it was a one-stop shop. I thought I could just take the exam and I'd be done. Had dreams of what I'll do after I took the exam. Uh, I started taking the exam. Um, I wasn't successful at first. Uh, my peers were passing. I don't know what I did wrong. I just know I studied. And I, came, I always came close, but I didn't pass. But I immediately got matured. I immediately said to myself that if I have to succeed in the field of accounting, I have to be a CPA. It's very necessary. It feels cool, actually, to say to someone that you're a CPA. I always, uh, I took a part. If I didn't pass, I came back to see why I didn't pass a part. Um, I continued that way until I had three parts in. And after having three parts in, I was faced with a very, very tragic event. My, my mother passed away. I lost every single energy to do anything and subsequently lost all the parts. And I had to start all over again. Uh, my motivation is one day, no one's gonna ask me how long it took me or how much time I spent. But I had at the back of my mind that one thing I could do for my mom was making sure I passed the exam. And I was successful in 2014 when I finally passed the two parts I needed to make the CPA. The fact is that I've passed the exam and I've achieved my goal. And I know a lot of students out there uh, just like me back in 2004 are saying to themselves, is this achievable? I tell you. Uh, the sky is not the limit. You're the limit. If you say it's not achievable, you won't achieve it. But you, all you, all you got to say to yourself is, I can do it. And if you just set your mind to it and put your mind to it and put a plan together, you get there.